Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some mods and we've got loads of mods, absolutely loads to get through. So first up, the updates. Water fountains packed by Puma145, that's had an update, but it doesn't actually say on the website what the change is are, so okay. Uh, then we've got the advanced series by ITS, that's had an update and in the change log it says winter update 1. Added snowblower 1500 and some optimization. We then got an update to the new Holland SP400F by Landev, and then that's added FS22 defaults added and not possible to fill from the trailer has been fixed. The next update we've got the powerful spotlights pack by Vanquish081, and that's added high altitude model with switch automatic for 180 degree lighting. Added half altitude model with switch or automatic for 180 degree lighting. And the last update for today is to the old stream farm by Black Sheep Modding. Now there is quite a lot of updates for this so get yourself ready. So fix the problem with the impossibility of placing fences on the farm. Fix farm silo grain. Pile of dirt in the restaurant removed. New save game recommended. Invisible wall in the fence workshop fixed. Remove the siren in the village, all train crossings fixed with car collisions, traffic speed fixed, pedestrians fixed, the problem of selling silage bales to the BGA if you do not have the BGA is fixed, new save game recommended. The farm grain silo bin trigger is now lower, correction of the Cody store sign, each group of farm decoration items can be sold in separate groups, new save game recommended. Adapted cow feed, now 112,500 litres for 150 cows. Addition of multi-fruit storage in the farm silo grain. There are now 13 different licence plates. The shelf on the farm has been repaired for the forks. The trigger for milk on the farm is corrected. Some flying trees have been replaced, new save game recommended. Several bumps in the fields have been removed. Field 59, 52, 40, 48, 44 and 42. New save game recommended. Now is that the field that I did the flip on with the pickup truck? Because that was quite epic. Anyway. So it says at the bottom. Not new save game is required. But a few issues above will only be fixed when you do start a new game. Attention. Without the new save game you will not have any of the decoration in the farm. New placeables. So that is your updates for today. And that's quite a few updates I must admit. Especially on that old stream farm. So we'll get on to the first mods and we've got this one in front of us. This is the decorative rock pack by Ola Holder. 4.13 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these in the construction menu. And then under landscaping and plants. So we'll scroll along there. So start off the 50 each and you've got loads to choose from. As you can see you've got all these here. All the different ones up to this massive one. Look at the state of that. That's huge. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Right. Back to the start of them. Where is it? Right. So we've got small rock one, small rock two, small rock three, four, medium rock one, two, three, and four, large rock one, two, three, and four, alp rock one, two, three, and four, flat rock, alp rock flat, sorry, one, two, three, and four. Alproc Steep, 2, 3, oh there's no 4th on that one, excellent, I mean they're all 50 to buy so from a size perspective you're paying 50, you might as well just get the biggest one haven't you, more money, uh, more, more rock for your money, excellent, right next up we've got the BR Water Tank, this is by DH Modding, 0 0.27 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these in the construction menu and under buildings and containers so we'll scroll back along and find them oh, I've got so many mods on here right there we are so we've got 20 grand for the non straight non straight sided one and then 20 grand for the other one obviously so pull it up pull your tanker up fill up the water and away you go excellent Right, next up is the use of leftovers silos by the Lord. 14 kilobyte on the download and you're going to find these 
as you can imagine in the construction menu and under silos so we'll scroll along to find them you've got three options as you can probably see on the screen already all the way to the end I'd imagine ah there we are right so we've got the small one 25 grand to buy so that's that one and then you've got medium 60 grand and large one 120 grand now obviously these are bunker silos that we're all familiar with in the game but these are excellent you can use your leftovers so from your crops that you've got left over that you're not using for your animals or whatever you can chuck in these and turn it into chaff excellent obviously you have to weigh up the different prices because you know it might just be better buying the chaff and using it in here than using stuff you can sell but I like the concept of that. Very good. Excellent. Right, next up we've got the Productions Pack. This is by the law. 3.80 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these in the construction menu under Productions and Factories. So we'll scroll back. There we are. So we've got Pig Feed Production, Mixed Ration Production and Silage Production. It's pig Feed. Mix ration and then silage at the end. So they all look the same, just got different outputs. So obviously load in the front, take out at the spout, come over here to our production chain menu. So the pig food, you've got a thousand chaff, five hundred potato, five hundred sugar beet, gets you a thousand pig food. Well that's two thousand going in and only one thousand coming out. Okay. And then on the TMR Again, that recipe looks a bit... 1,000 silage, 500 hay, 1,000 mineral feed, and then 500 straw, and you only get 1,000 out of it. That 1,000 mineral feed is going to cost you a fortune. What? Well, all right. And then on the forage, sec well, the forage section, the silage section, 1,000 in and 1,000 out. So that one's all right. But that TMR one, 1,000 mineral feed. Hmm. Wonder if that's gonna need an update on that recipe, mind you. But there we are. If you want to make your own food like that, the so easier way, I'd imagine. Excellent. Right, next up we've got modern hay storage. This is by the law, 9.80 megabyte on the download, and you're gonna find this in a construction menu and under silos again. There we are, so we've got 90 grand to buy. Place it down, store your hay and straw. Excellent. So obviously that's your loading out point. And then your loading in point is round the back. Got a load of straw and hay on the go. Store it in one of these. Excellent. Right, next up is the water wind turbine. This is by Nicopix, 2.38 megabyte on the download. And you can find this in the construction menu and then under productions and generators. So there you are, 23 grand to buy. It's saying there 480 payout per month. So obviously, depending on whether you're playing on one day months, you'll get 480. If you're playing on two day months, you'll still only get 480 per month. Just bear that in mind if you're placing it down. That being said, obviously reasonable small footprint, but that's all right. That is excellent. Right, next up we've got Vehicle Shelter Metal. This is by Black Sheep Modding, 3.66 megabyte on the download, and you're gonna find this in the construction menu and under sheds. So we'll scroll along till we find it. I really need to get rid of some of these mods. There's too many. Ah, there we are. Twelve and a half grand to buy. Place it down. Jobs are good in. You come in, there's the option to turn the lights on. I mean, there is a switch over here that's just for aesthetic purposes excellent nice drive through option for you ah very nice indeed right next up is the ESC large shed pack this is by DH modding 1.49 megabyte on the download and again in the construction menu and under sheds we'll try and find these again oh, I've gone the wrong way Oh, here we go. Right, there we are. So we've got the small one, 30 grand. We then got the medium one, 35 grand. And we've got the large one, 40 grand. Excellent. Again, drive through. 
No option for the lights though, because there's no lights. Yeah, the medium one, get the extra bit on the side, and then the larger one, you get the double sides. Excellent. Store all your equipment under there. Very nice indeed. Alright, next up we got the old manure heap. This is by Black Sheep Modding. 1.72 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find these in the construction menu again, and under silos. So we'll scroll along till we find them. There we are. Right, so we've got two options for corner ones. You've got left and right, although you can flip them around. I don't know why we've got two. And then we've got, so the capacity on the corner ones is one and a half million litres. Then on the smaller one, 12 grand to buy, that's got two million litre capacity. Then we've got the medium one, it's got three million litre capacity for 15 grand. And the larger one, that's got a five million litre capacity for 20 grand. Obviously, chuck them all down. You've got all your loading icons there. Excellent. Place them right near an animal barn. Get yourself some manure on the go. Very nice indeed. Right, next up, we've got the low cost silos. This is by Air Shabbat VSR Modding Sir. 3.50 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these in the construction menu and under silos. So we'll try and find them. It's got far too many mods downloaded. Right, there we are. So we've got the grain silo, 30 grand. We've then got the multi product silo for 45 grand. If you then go into silo extensions, you've then got these two extensions. So the grain silo extension for 10 grand, and then the multi, -pro multi product silo. Once I put my teeth in. For 15 grand. Obviously the extensions have a 500,000 litre capacity. But then. Oh I've lost them now. Lost them again. Oh, I've got so many silos on the go here. Right. And then the grain silo. And the multi product silo. Have got one, mu 1 million litre capacity. Excellent. Obviously if you're going to do it. You might as well just put the multi one down. Haven't you? It gives you more options. But very nice indeed. Right, next up we got Grain Storages Pack. This is by Camillos0397. 40.92 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these under Sheds and one other. So if we go into Construction Menu under Sheds. So we've got these two here. That's a bit better. So we've got the Grain Storage is the larger one, 35 by 32. It's going to cost you 55 grand. We've then got the medium one in front of us there, 35 grand. And then we've got, oh, I'm blocked by that building. We've got the metal shed, 16 by 10 for 15 grand. And then you also need to go into decorations and others because you then also get with the pack this concrete barrier. This one here. 50 to buy. Obviously, place it down and then you can keep your stuff separate. So if we go into there. Excellent. Nicely detailed inside. All the usual stuff you'd have lying around. Nice big area to put all your crops down. So that's the larger one. We then come down here. We'll go to the medium one. Just one great big shed to be fair. Excellent. And then it's the metal one there. Excellent, you want to store your stuff rather in a silo and you want to put it into a shed. They're very nice indeed. Right, next up we've got My Cow Pasture. This is by Rowley Christie One, 1.57 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this in a construction menu and under animals and cows. So it's 150 grand to buy, but it's going to hold 490 cows. Excellent. There is one thing, it is rather large. I mean, look at that area it's took up on the Elm Creek start farm. Obviously, landscaping, top quality as usual, but it is big, so you're going to need a big area for it. 490 cows, though. That's excellent. Take your milk out there. Animal dialogue box there. Excellent. The drive-through bit 
at the end there is some gates the other end you can open up so this is where your feed and your straw go in and this is classed as a pasture so you are going to want to put water in as well so that's your loading point there so if we go all the way through the middle only for the cow see you mr cow well, there's no cows in this i don't know who i'm talking to so you open that gate open that gate and you've got a nice little drive through and in this bottom corner here is where you take your slurry out so that's excellent i mean i know the cow barns we've got in the game already are on the small side so 490 you're going to get loads of milk out of that brilliant Right, next up is the Placeable Buildings Pack by Alien Jim, 48.61 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find these in the construction menu and under decorations. Now, there is 30 placeable buildings. That's a lot. That's a lot. So I've placed them all out here. I mean, look at them. There's loads. Absolutely loads. Right, so what have we got? So first one, Mercury Farmhouse 1, Farmhouse 2, Farmhouse 3. Brickstone house, light brown house, old red brick house, sweet shop, local inn, apartments, garden centre, wooden shed small, wooden shed medium, wooden shed large, small office, small office 2, village building 1, village building 2, village building 3, building 4, 5, 6, village commercial building, spinnery factory, old farm building 1, 2, dovecote, Country building one, country building two, three, oh, and, out, and that's on the next one. So that's it. That's your buildings. I mean, there's loads there to choose from. Obviously, they range from 1,000 to 12,000. I mean, if you've played on No Man's Land on Farming Simulator 19, a lot of these will be familiar to you. Obviously, I think these country style ones are new to this pack, but all the other ones are from that. But that's excellent. You want to build yourself a little village adding into the role play element very nice indeed excellent right next up is the placeable objects pack also by alien jim 19.72 megabyte on the download and there is even more than the buildings pack over 90 placeable objects for decorating your farms villages and towns man this is going to be a lot right so down to decorations and others so we'll scroll along we'll start here with the arcade right we're ready arcade cabinet basket chair parasol closed parasol open bistro set big bistro set small potted plant potted tree one potted tree two street flower pot one street flower pot two town decoration town plant one town plant two bucket galvanized bucket plastic blue canister cardboard box one closed cardboard box two closed cardboard box three closed cardboard box open chessboard concrete parts one two three four concrete roadblock one two old straw cart electric generator fancy table folding beach chair folding garden chair gas cylinder cage one gas cylinder cage two ice cream freezer one ice cream freezer two industrial hatch lawn mower metal sheet pile milk container Parking lines two bays, parking lines six bays, parking meter, picnic bench, plastic barrel, plastic box, plastic chair, plastic table, postcard rack, public bench two, public bench one, police box, public, public mailbox, public waste bin, recycling bin, recycling container glass, recycling container paper and cardboard, recycling container plastic and aluminium, recycling station one, recycling station two, recycling station three, four rock flat one two three four rock steep one two three small substation snowman sports bag street cleaning trolley open tent black open tent white toolbox although that's not the toolbox you can carry around that's just a decorative one town fountain watering can galvanized watering can iron watering can plastic wheelbarrow old wheelbarrow closed wheelbarrow cloth sorry wood barrel closed wood barrel cloth wood barrel open wood chair wood table wood stacks wood stack dark bridge and that goes on to the next one oh man that was a lot so obviously that, it does contain that bridge i mean i've bridged nothing there i've just placed it down 
because you know why not so there is loads there absolutely loads for you to choose from to decorate your farm obviously they are decorative options in this water fountain guys you sit there listening to that excellent so you go for with whatever you want there's loads to choose from excellent i mean alien jimmy does do some brilliant stuff yourself an ice cream got them ice creams in there excellent give yourself a little game on the old arcade box very nice indeed right next up is also from alien jim he's given us loads today placeable vehicle pack 23.23 megabyte on the download and you'll find all of these in the construction menu and under decorations and others so we've got loads again we got park box van park flatbed truck one park flatbed park parked flat bed truck two put my teeth in old junk fire truck old junk bus old junk fuel truck old junk harvester old junk pickup truck old junk tractor parked excavator parked scooter parked semi trailer parked wheel loader parked vehicle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Sm oh. I got excited then and carried on going. Excellent. Park vehicle 12. That's loads. I mean, look at that. I placed them all down. It looks like a car showroom. Excellent. Oh. Jim, you are a legend. Love it. Do you want to place these down? Add a bit of role play to it. I like that. that looks very sport. That looks like an Audi S3. Or an RS3. Excellent. There you are. Placeable vehicles pack. Placing down, add a bit of role play to your game. Excellent. Right, next up is the offset mass holder. This is by Fred Modding, 2.28 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find these underweight. So you've got these two options here. So first up, you've got the hydraulic weight adapter. So it's 1500 to buy. You can change the main color on it. Now, what you do with these is rather than adding extra weight to your tractor you put these two things on the front and then they extend out changing the center of gravity so you haven't got to add extra weight you just got to move it further away which is excellent so that's the front part that's the weight part and then you get an extra adapter for it and that all unfolds and you just move the weight out even further and 1500 for the adapter 1500 for the weight on the front 1.2 ton excellent saves you getting more weights very nice indeed all right next up we've got the lizard 1250 kilo weight this is by pet 0.73 megabyte on the download and you're going to find it under weights and then if you come around the back you got without trailer hitch sorry around the front with trailer hitch so if you want to put it on the back of your tractor have that you can carry on pulling something else behind you and then you've got main color, we'll change that to yellow. And then design color, we'll change that to red. It's not changed anything. Oh, it's a trailer hitch. There you are. And that's your options. I mean, 1150 to buy without any extras on it. 1.3 ton. Very nice indeed. Right, next up, we've got the Stepper FHL 13AK. This is by Nico73 Modding, 5.52 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this under Forestry Tools. So we've got a couple of options here. I mean, it's 54 grand to start with. So the wheels and tyres, usual shenanigans on the go there. But it comes standard as the wood configuration. So you can then do your login with this. Obviously, you're going to want it in that. But you can also get it in a bale configuration. So this is not an auto load bale. You are going to have to use the crane there to load your bales on but that's a nice little option that is something a bit different i do like things that are different <laughs> yep we're back we're back to the small equipment that's right you heard the warning right this is the lemkin d24 by a dub modding abp team 0.37 megabyte on the download and you're going to find this under plows this has got a one metre working width. One metre. I have bigger sandwiches than that. Anyway. 
only requires 10 horsepower from your tractor so if you are going down the old school role play route and you've got the old tractor on the go this will work with it very nicely indeed although it's still going to take you a huge amount of time to do anything and 600 to buy so it is nice and cheap it runs at nine mile an hour right we'll move on one meter yeah we'll, we'll, we'll move on quick right next up we got the john deere 622x header this is by melody 98 4.98 megabyte on the download and you're going to find this under the harvester headers section so it's going to cost you 40 and a half grand to buy it's got a 6.7 meter working width and a six mile an hour working speed no options it comes as it is so in the john deere green so if you're going to keep it all john deere this could be very nice for you obviously it is going to be on the smaller side so that's going to go with the t560 excellent get one of them on the go very nice indeed right next up we've got the john deere hx20 this is by black sheep modding 6.57 megabyte on the download and you're going to find this under mowers so 15 grand to buy requires 75 horsepower from your tractor 6.2 meter working width and a 13 mile an hour working speed so this is what they're calling the bat wing mower excellent so the options you got there are the wheel brands you've got john deere mitus or john deere and then you've got lighting system you got no yes so it puts those on the back and then mulcher no or yes well, that doesn't seem to be doing let's see anything that changes on that though that's probably just part of the coding excellent so if you want the bat wing mower this could be very nice indeed all right next up we got the star and ninja 19,000 33,000 pack this is by rowley christie one and vsr modding sir 10.19 megabyte on the download and you're going to find them under auger wagons so you've got the rayboke ninja 33,000 so that's obviously got 33,000 litre capacity requires 210 horsepower from your tractor and then the Ninja 19,000, it's got a 19,000 litre capacity and a 110 horsepower requirement from your tractor. So these pair will do wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybean, corn, seed and solid fertiliser. Excellent. Obviously the only options that they have is the wheel brands. So if you want an auger wagon on the go, very nice indeed. So the 33,000, 66 grand and then the 19,000 litre capacity is 38 grand excellent right next up we've got the trans 70 trailer this is by rowley christie one and vsr modding sir again 7.18 megabyte on the download i'm going to find it under trailers so it's got 70,000 litre capacity and the options you've got there are trailer borg michelin and then trailer borg saying so it's 36 grand to buy a standard and change the main color we'll go with metallic steel oh yes and then rim colors obviously change the rim colors excellent i mean 70,000 liter capacity for 36 grand that's excellent right next up we got the lizard platform trailers this is by hispano 30.43 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these four under bail loaders so you've got the 85 the 100 the 115 and the 130 so the 85 that's going to hold 28 bales the 100 is going to hold 32 the 115 is going to hold 36 and the 130 is going to hold 42 bales excellent so they'll both do round and square or oh, they're both all four will do round and square so the options are the same on all of them so you've got your wheel brand shenanigans on the go there you then got design standard extension one extension two extension three four five six and then back to standard auto load no or yes and then you got on the front normal pin hitch low hitch ball normal pin hitch and then you can change the main color we'll go for that changes the main framework and design color we'll go for a red changes the bits around the side and then rim color obviously changes the rims excellent 
I mean the 85, so that's 15 and a half grand to buy. 100 is 18 and a half. 115 is 24 and a half. And 130 is 31 and a half. So they're nice and cheap. Yeah, you've got some bells on the go. Have the auto load option on, definitely. Although the only issue that I think, and this is just me personally, is that swivel axle on the front, and that's because I am terrible at reversing the swivel axles. The mod, there is no issue with it. It is me. Completely me. I'm going to be 100% honest on that. I am terrible with them. That being said, very nice indeed. All right, next up, we've got the Class Vario Pack. This is by Melody98, 41.35 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find all of these under the Harvester Header section. So we've got the 560, we've got the 680, 930, 1080, 1230, and 1380. So there's no options on all of them. They come as they are. So you've got the 560 is 27 grand. It's got 5.6 meter working width. The 680 is 35 grand with a 6.8 meter working width. The 930 is 55,700 with a 9.3 meter working width. 1080, it's got a 10.8 meter working width for 60,900. The 1230 is 84 and a half grand and a 12.3 meter working width. And the 1380 is 89,900 with a 13.8 meter working width. So if you've got a class harvester, get one of these on the go. Excellent. Right, next up, we've got two mods together, to be fair, because these are the John Deere S600 series and the John Deere S700 series, both by JHHG modding. The 600 series, S600 series is 57.19 megabyte on the download and the 700 series is 56.89 on the download. So you've got these four here. So we've got the 600, so we've got the 680, 690 and then the 550 to 670 and then the 780 to 790 and the 760 to 770. Right. So we'll go for the first one, the 550 to 670. Obviously, you've got grain tank extensions once it's loaded. There we are. So we've got now, so it starts off with 7,080 litre capacity. Then that goes to top cover fixings. That don't change anything. Top cover. Now, factory foldable extension, that's 10,600. Big top folding, that's 14,220. And 10,600 again for factory static. And factory, full factory static. That don't change anything though. All right. Top. Top factory static. So now we've got a bigger one. The Malware tip up factory static. 13,900. Big top. So that's 14,100. Back to 13,900. There's loads of options on this. 14,100, 16, 200, 15, 8, 19, 380. There we are. Now we're getting somewhere. Then back to 7,000. So it start, starts up 7,080. And you go all the way up to 19,380. It's excellent. And will brands and tires, the usual shenanigans on the go. But you do get, we'll scroll through them. You get the tracks on these, which is excellent. So when we get there, there we are. So we've got that brand of tracks. We've got different ones, different sizes, different colours. Excellent. Loads to be getting on with. So then numbers, you've got no. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then back to no. The specification, you've got North America. Then you've got Australia. So that's going to put that oversized sticker on the back. South America. And then back to North America. So rear hitches. We'll spin round. So we've got no. Standard. What's that say? Lancotta length 400 static hicks extension. Well, that's small writing. Uh, foldable hitch extension. And then back to no. God, they put these long names in these bars. You can hardly read them. Anyway. Then we've got the engine setup. So standard 271, 295, 320, 320 again, 373. 373 again and then back to 271 so that's your options on that Now they're pretty much going to be the same options on all of them all bar the grain tank extensions so the top 
so it starts off on the 680 690 at 10,550 and that goes up to 22,905 and then you got the engine options so 473 all the way up to 543 and then if we go over to the 700s so that starts off with 387 horsepower and the 7,080 7, litre capacity I really need to get some new teeth in that goes up to 1936 that's going to be pretty much the same as the 600 though isn't it then the engine set up 387 that will go all the way up to 455 and then the 787 90 10,600 again up to 22,905 on the tank capacity and then 547 on the horsepower all the way up to 625 all right so there is a few little things that i think are quite nice so start it off if we do now we'll go around this side if we do lb and right stick up and down if you're on xbox like me opens that side up if we do lb and rb together and right stick left and right opens that one right stick up and down opens that one and if we get out you can then fix your harvester clean it out tend to whatever needs tending to that's excellent I mean the detail underneath there I mean it's not something an area that, of a vehicle that you'd normally look at but that is brilliant absolutely brilliant does it on all four of them so whichever one you go for you got this option I like that I like that a lot very nice indeed all right, so our last mod for the day is the Fent 500 Favorite by Moons Agra, 14.21 megabot on the download. And you're going to find this under small tractors. So it starts off at 76 grand, 115 horsepower and a 31 mile an hour top speed. So usual shenanigans on the wheel, brands and tyres on the go. And you've got beacon lights, you've got no beacon light, one left, beacon light, one left and right, two left, two left and right and then none number plate on the front so we've got lower position on the grill or then upper position on the exhaust carpets no or yes inside exhaust cover black or chrome terminal holder so this is going to be inside the cab so you've got no you've got one two or both and then attaches you've got no pto on the front or front pto front loader no quickie power or no Engine set up, so you've got 511C with 115 horsepower. Then you've got 512 with 120, 514 with 140, 515 with 150, and back to 511. Change the main colour, we'll go with orange. And change the rim colour, like so. Excellent. And that's your options for you. So if we then come out. We'll start it up. We'll do LB and right stick left and right. Opens the back window. We'll do LB and right stick up and down. Opens the front window. If we do, oh, the camera's gone wrong. If we do LB and RB and right stick left and right, opens the driver's door. LB and RB and right stick up and down, opens the other side door. And LB and RB and left stick, left and right, opens up the sunroof. Excellent. Obviously an older style tractor. So if you want to get that on the go, very nice indeed. And that is it for the mods for today. There's a lot in there today, especially with those placeable packs, which is excellent. Obviously options is always better. So drop it in the comments below, which one's your favourite, which one you're thinking of using. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. And I nearly got... Oh, you just drove straight into me then. That's, that's shocking. Anyway, where was I? If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.